Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to yet another video today. I recently just got back from Lake Kuchiching where we were fishing for perch. We did get a handful of them, but we didn't catch much. It was actually a complete disaster. I ended up falling asleep on my chair, so that was pretty funny. And then we fished Simcoe the night, like the night of. So I just got here. My GoPro batteries are low. I only have three, so I'm gonna be keeping it short and sweet today. But again, we're back out here targeting pike. I have a big spoon I'm gonna be throwing and I have the tip up set up over there already. Well, or, or the dead stick, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm gonna dig my jigging hole set up and start fishing. So stay tuned, hopefully we get on the gators and let's do it. So yeah guys, right now I'm jigging with a big spoon that Curtis let me actually borrow from his tackle box. I'm trying it out for him and I kind of wanted to see if it worked. Cause I know on this lake, I'm pretty well catching pike. So if I don't catch any pike on it, I might not use it again if I don't catch any today, but I'm hoping I do. I'm hoping I get a bite. Cause uh, I mean, the little perch were hitting the minnow head on the hook and it lures like this big. So a pike might smash it, it might not. We're gonna find out. All my larger minnows died last night, uh, which is unfortunate. So I have like medium sized minnows that I'm using for my dead stick. So I'm hoping that still works. It may not, I don't know, but uh, I'm hoping it does. So I'm gonna watch that uh, dead stick and see if it goes off. It's right behind the camera so I can see it both ways. I've also heard that, that there's crappie in this lake too. So if I could hook some crappie, that would be nice too. Just, uh, just to keep consistency going and keep numbers up and just have fun. Cause like when I'm out here, for hours and hours and hours by myself, it gets kind of boring. So as long as I'm catching little fish or something, at least it keeps the day going and keeps me motivated to uh, keep filming, keep fishing and keep going. Every day I come out here, I pretty much pick a new spot, but similar area. So I don't know how good this spot is necessarily, but I'm hoping it's good. I'm hoping we get a few pike today. It'd be really, really good. And again, it's not very deep here. It's like maybe 10 feet. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is a good spot. Worst case, I'll move elsewhere. I'll either go in or out. It gets shallow out, but deeper in. I don't know, it's weird. Like this, this lake's kind of off. The shallow spots are deeper, deeper spots kind of toward the shoreline more. So it's kind of all over the place. Fish on. Oh, wow, guys, it's pretty good. Oh, there we go. Woo! First pike. Oh, I just got a hook in the head. Wow, look at that. First pike, guys. Scared the crap out of me. Oh, my God. Look at that, guys. First pike of the day. Uh, they're really small. He's really small. He hit that spoon hard, man. He hit that spoon hard. Like, look at that guy. Wow, decent little northern pike. That's pretty mint. I'm gonna take some pictures and get them going real fast here. All right, guys, I'm gonna release them. There he goes, woo! First pike on the spoon. Curtis, your spoon worked, buddy. Thanks for letting me borrow it. All right, guys, so we just caught that little pike. It was no bigger than like this. It was tiny, the fight was still good though. My tension set pretty good. Uh, the tip up hasn't went off yet, or like the dead stick or whatever. But yeah, he just smashed the spoon. Now, this is my first time using a spoon out here, and I would barely use spoons in the summer, spring, like whenever, I barely use them. But this, he just smashed it like hard, and he was a small pike, so I am curious to see if the big ones will hit it too. It's fairly big spoon, but we're gonna keep using it, so I'm gonna drop it down. Here we go. But yeah, so I was just jigging that spoon and all of a sudden that little pike just smashed it. It just smashed it. Like, that surprised me. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got another one. Wow. Oh, it's bigger. Woo! Second pike, guys. Second. Wow, he's got attacked. Get some markings on him. Woo! Second one. Already. Holy. Oh, I need the pliers for that. Oh, 
otherwise mangled the whole hook. Shit. Anyways, guys, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Second pike of the day. Now, if you see there, look at right there. He's been attacked by something. Something bigger is out there, and it attacked him. But this is a little bit bigger of a pike. Still a nice, nice little northern pike. He's probably about like 19 inches, something like that. Very small, but beautiful fish so yet again. All right, guys, we're going for the release. I'm gonna record on my phone so all you guys on Instagram who follow me at Flippin' Fish Mitch can see it too. Look at this guy. Beautiful pike. All right. There he goes. Woohoo! That's number two, guys. Let's go for number three. I gotta fix my spoon. I bent the hell out of it. All right, real quick. Uh, that pike mangled this spoon. Sorry, Curtis, but I guess I have to, if I break it, I buy it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you can see that, but the hook, the hook's all bent and mangled. I just took the pliers and did my best to form it properly, but as you can see, uh, that right there isn't straight and the hooks are all out of place now so hopefully hopefully they still hit it but uh yeah i'm gonna throw it back down because they're smashing this spoon that one was a little bit bigger than the first one hopefully we can just keep upsizing here i'm gonna go check my tip up too and make sure that middle's still on and stuff because it's not getting any action whatsoever so let's get on it all right guys so it's only been i've only been here for like half an hour i think and i've got two pike like i say in all my videos early bite is way better you get way more fish after 10 30 the bite stops hits a lull period midday lull period and then you don't get shit so i mean that's two and 30 minutes 20 minutes they weren't that far apart actually i was talking to you guys when he hit it caught me off guard but he was bigger that's for sure so hopefully hopefully we can get more but we're having a fantastic morning i'm shocked again i've been on here four times now this week i got skunked two days oh I think we have another one. Anyways, I've been skunked two days, and the one day I caught five pike, made a video about it. Now today I'm back on the bite again, so it's weird. It was like I got skunked, caught five pike, got skunked, now I'm catching them again. It's weird, but they didn't bite in the weekend, so today's Monday. <laughs> crazy like I'm in like maybe nine feet of water ten feet of water it's hard to tell I don't have my transducer well I don't have a transducer and in the, in the first place but uh, yeah like 10 to 11 9 to 11 feet of water here and I caught two pike already they just like shallow and weedy I guess uh, in this lake so I mean this lake doesn't get much deeper than this anyways so uh, it's a hit or miss out here really so I'm hoping to get a couple more today that'd be like fantastic but uh We'll have to see how the day goes. It's still early, so we still have a lot of fishing to do today. So stay tuned. Let's keep going. Oh, somebody over there just caught a pike, I think. He has his little, like, uh, noisemaker on his tip-up, and I just heard it going, and he ran out, got one, I think. He's pretty, he's a ways out, but, yeah. It's a lot, a lot of pike in this lake. I don't know. It's weird. Never would have thought. Never would have thought you'd just be getting pike. Like, I literally come out here and just get pike and nothing else. It's weird. But yet again, they're all small, so it's interesting to me. My tip-ups, or my, my dead stick's still not getting any action over there. Very surprised about that. I'm surprised that I've caught more on the spoon than I had the tip-up. But, uh, yeah, hopefully it does get hit because I want to I want to catch one on it. Good, you? I caught two pike already. Yeah. yeah, they're hitting, so yeah. Okay, so I caught two pike. It's been about 20 minutes, 25 minutes since then. I'm thinking I'm gonna uh, keep my tip, or keep my dead stick there and kind of dig holes around, around the area because I, I caught two pike in this exact hole, so I doubt a third one will come by. I might, but who knows. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to drill a hole like way out that way 
but within like the same distance from my dead stick now that I am here. And then just kind of like rotate the dead stick and rotate my holes around this area and just keep jumping, keep hole hopping around because who knows that they're moving through there right now or here. So, I mean, it's just me on here. I only got two lines, so it's hard to depict whether I'm in a good spot or not. But I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go drill another hole and just test my luck for about 20 minutes and then rotate every like 20, 30 minutes, see what we get while leaving my dead stick weird. Over that way was really shallow, so I moved this way. It's a little deeper, so I'm gonna stick to this side when I'm hole hopping. I think because it's just it was a little too shallow over there. Like the lake's shallow, but it was like a little too much. So I think I'm at good depth here. I have my tip up in sight. Uh, I went to check it, and there was a minnow gone, so I might have missed it. I don't know, but I put a new one on there. He's pretty lively. He's down there right now. Hopefully, it gets smashed just like this spoon. I also baited the holes pretty good with uh, live minnows, so I put a, like a like three in my dead stick hole, three in this hole, just set the swimming around the area, hopefully to draw in some more pike so I can get them on film for you guys, and also increase my pike count this winter. Let's get it. Let's try to get a couple more today. It'd be really good. It was fairly interesting actually. So yesterday when I was filming uh, a perch uh, video, ice fishing video, my buddy caught like nine perch and like a rock bass where I just caught one rock bass so I've yet to catch a perch through the ice obviously I've caught perch before but not through the ice like this is like really like my this is only my third year ice fishing where I've really stepped on the pedal and got stuff in motion but yeah I've yet to catch a little perch uh, through the ice so I'm still trying to get that uh, targeted oh he came off, no. I just got a big hit there, guys. Shit. They're biting. I don't know what it is. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's big. He's yeah, Pike. Oh, guys, that's big. Woo! Oh shit! Look at that, guys. Oh my god, that's a good Pike. That's a good Pike. Oh yeah. Woo! That's number three. That is number three. Oh my god, that's slimy in the gloves. Hold on. That's a beautiful pike, oh my god. Oh, guys. Number three, look at that. That is a beautiful pike, like look at this guy. Like, that is just so nice. Look at the colors on him, guys. Like, look at his tail, just beautiful. You know, this has been like, uh, not a dream, but this has been a, uh, I've tried to reach this milestone in a long time. It's been three years now. I'm finally catching fish, ice fishing. I'm so excited. Like just catching pike this size is fun. Like this guy's even bigger than the second one. So I'm getting bigger in size. Like, look at that. Look at him. Look at that guys. Amazing pike. Amazing. Just absolutely amazing. All right, let's release him. Got to get the release fit for you guys on Instagram. Amazing fish, absolutely amazing fish right here. Oh my God, he's he's ready to go, he's ready to go. Look at that, look at that guys. Just, he's just absolutely beautiful. Just absolutely beautiful. All right, let's go for the release. 
He's probably gonna kick off fairly good here. Oh, yeah, he's gone. He didn't kick off hard, but he's gone. Third pike, third one, and that was a good size. Most people would keep that and eat it, but not me. I'm uh, catch and release, and again, conservation is very key out here. I've watched somebody take five pike out, three pike out, two pike out. That's 11 in like one day that I've seen. Uh, so conservation is everything, guys. Keep what you're allowed to keep. Don't obviously go over your limit, and if you catch something out of season, let it go. Pike are in season, but I'm not going to keep them. Uh, I'm not, I don't know how to fillet pike that well. Not yet, anyways. I might keep the all one once I start getting more comfortable. I know there's a healthy population in here. But yeah, conservation's good, guys. I'm gonna keep fishing. They're smashing the spoon, so I'm gonna keep going. I was very, very patient with that pike. He was nibbling at it very slowly. Uh, then he finally took it and I set that hook right away, not messing around. So that one put up a bigger that one put up a bigger fight than the other two. It actually was trying to pull down. I should loosen my drag a little bit, which I'm gonna do right now actually. Just a tad little bit like two clicks down just so we can get down there a little more because uh yeah but the hook came out of his mouth right when i right when i got him out of the hole the hook came right out of his mouth so i got lucky there but he was a good one that that's a very good pike i'm happy with that hope you guys are too <laughs> again i'm very surprised I'm, I'm just jigging a spoon with a minnow head on it bigger treble hook i'm surprised my uh Dead sticks not catching the pike today, but this is so it's uh, very interesting. Like last time I came out here, my dead stick was doing all the work. I got one fish on a jigging wrap, I think, or something like that. Or no, it was a spoon, but I broke it too as well. But uh, yeah, they're hitting this today, great. So third one, keep fishing. Let's do, let's get into it. Let's get involved. All right, guys. That's gonna be it for today's video. That's all I have for you. I'm getting hungry, I'm getting cold. Bites slowed down a lot. I haven't caught anything since that third pike. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this because I'm on a grind right now. I mean, I've been ice fishing for five days in a row now to try to get footage for you guys. So lots of editing to do, lots of videos coming out. Stay tuned, enjoy your day, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.